Talking about Barbara Windsor now, that infectious laugh, that bright smile, and of course the on-screen presence, mm. uh, Dame Barbara Windsor was a true national treasure. So following her Alzheimer's diagnosis in 2014, Dame Barbara and her husband Scott Mitchell worked tirelessly to raise awareness of the illness since Dame Barbara's sad passing last December. Scott has continued to ensure her legacy lives on. Delighted to say Scott joins us now this yeah. morning. Lovely to see you this morning, Scott. Morning, Looking babe. in fine fettle as well, because it's a big day Sunday. It's a really big day Sunday, yes. I can't believe I'm doing it again. The London Marathon. <laughs> I seem to remember you saying to me last time, I'm never doing that again. I actually said that at the yes. finish line. I said never again. And I somehow got <laughs> talked back into it when I did a half marathon about three months later. And uh, it was with Chris Evans, actually. And uh, he said, oh, you'll be doing the next one. I said, no, I'm done. And he said, you can't know. He said, you're in now. You've got to do it. So the thing is this. I, I was obviously meant to do it last year mm. uh, because of the awful mm. pandemic. Um, affecting everything like it did. It was cancelled. I'd already done my fundraising. So, of course, I owe my sponsors a run. There's no, I can't just say, you know, <laughs> sorry, sorry, that didn't happen. I've had the money, thanks. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So that has to happen. And also, it's a way of me saying a big thank you to the public. We, when Barbara passed, and it is still very early days. I mean, mm. you know, we're talking nine months. Uh, I'm very aware it's very early days as far as grieving is concerned for me. But it's important to me that I, I keep this awareness going and her legacy going. And uh, that's why I will do the run this time. Most likely be my last full marathon, but uh, very much looking forward to it. And the cause, of course, is something that you and she so passionately believed in. We, we really did. And I, th I think when you go through something, and, and Kate, on a personal note to you, my, my respect and admiration to you for watching your journey with, with Derek. I know how it is to care for someone mm. it, when you're in that situation. But it did become, and it has become for me, something I am very, very passionate about. Mm. I mean, I've become an ambassador for Alzheimer's Research mm. UK. That's, that's who I'm running for. Mm. That's who we set the condolences page up for. Um, when you've been through something like mm. that, when you watch at close hand what Alzheimer's dementia does to someone, a loved one, and you watch very painfully and slowly how it takes them away mm -hmm. and how powerless you are, it, it makes you want to fight. And my only way I could fight, because I was pretty powerless to help Barbara mm -hmm. apart from being there and, and making mm -hmm. sure that she felt as, as safe and loved as possible. Mm -hmm. But, you, you know, we have to do something mm -hmm. about the future, about future families going through this, future generations, and they're making such progress. Mm -hmm. They really are. We're kind of at a tipping point. Nice. There we are. <laughs> uh, we are at a tipping point where the progress is being made with the researchers, but the funding is not there. We need the funding mm. to continue this momentum and keep this moving forward. I wonder if it gives you as well something very positive to tackle because mm. um, the personal loss of Barbara in your life um, and we all have a slither of that because we all miss her too, just on our screens and, and being around and in the world. Um, it's so huge. Um, and then at the end, you had to watch her disappear in front mm. of your eyes. Mm. But you were also completely preoccupied with the caring of her. It, it affected your every minute. Yes. It must be such a huge hole. Yeah. With so many mixed feelings about that hole since she's passed. Yeah, there, there are. I mean, she's kind of constantly with me. She's yeah. constantly on my mind. You know, I, I do. I dream about her a lot. I, yeah. I uh, talk to her when I'm running. I, I think you do. It's part of grieving. And, and we all go through, unfortunately, mm those things when you do grieve. But I, I do like to try and keep a fairly positive um, stance on it. Barbara was an incredibly positive lady. Mm. You, you know, the way, the way you saw her, that was her attitude to life. Mm. She loved helping other people. She loved doing things. It was very important to her when we went public in 2018 mm. that she understood she was helping people by talking about this illness. And, and the, you know, the charities at the time did say to me, mm. you will never know the difference this has made, mm. Barbara being open about this. Mm. It had a big effect on other people living with dementia who, would mm. who didn't want to talk about it, and they'd suddenly say to their families, 
oh, Barbara Winder, she's got that mm. thing that I've mm. got. And they suddenly, it was kind of okay to talk about it. I've had this, uh, the, 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 the merest experience of, as you mentioned, what Kate and Derek are going through. And we were at the NTA the other day, weren't we, Kate? And, and some people stopped you on the red carpet and mm -hmm. said how incredible it had been with you being so open and making the documentary because they had been through a similar thing and they had yeah. lost the husband. And it was a huge source of support that Kate had been that open. Yeah. And I imagine that, Scott, that happens to you regularly now. People will stop and Absolutely. say, thank you for being public and sharing what you're going through, which is, it is, must be equally as, as, as emotional as it is heartwarming to hear. It really is. And, and it's very comforting to know. And it's very important. And, and you know, that, that's one of the other things that spurs me on to do this. Mm. Um, a lady stopped me in the street. I remember, you know, why Barbara was still here and she said, can I give you a hug? And I said, certainly. And she said, I just want to thank you for being so open about the illness because we finally did something about my husband's mum. We finally took wow. her and got her diagnosed. And wow. it was just listening to you put it in the way that you did from a, a human point of view mm -hmm. and from a caring point of view that we knew something had to be done. That makes it all worth it to me. That, that, that makes me ignore any of the odd kind of nasty comments that you see, which we all get, you know. Do you? Uh, unfortunately, at times, you, you'll get someone who wants to be a bit horrible on the internet. I tend not to look. I usually stumble across something um, oh. by mistake. Mm. But, you know, I, I put those whatever they are, yeah. people to one side. Sure. And I focus on the people that it's helped, on the kind people mm. who have supported us, who say the most wonderful things about Barbara to me. Mm. And, uh, you know, we have to focus on the positive. Absolutely, absolutely. And, uh, and it's lovely to see you. Thank you. And I'm Thank sure you. every day is tough, mm. but you're getting through them and you're doing brilliantly and it's great to speak to you thank you can i just quickly say yes. people are still asking although i'm honoring last year's sponsorship people are still saying what can we donate the condolences page is still open it's just giving.com forward slash dame barbara so if anyone however small the donation is would like to help in this search for research please please do What's the uh, expected time on Sunday, Scott? <laughs> My first one was 5.41. Yes. I think we'll be lucky if uh, we're in within six. I'm two and a half years older and, <laughs> and a little more tired. And, but I've got lovely uh, Tanya Franks from EastEnders running with yes. me and yeah. my brother-in-law, Lawrence, and my nephew, Harry, to support me. So there's a so, gang of you that will be dragging you round. Well, they'll be dragging us round and I'm sure Barbara just, will be Just beat the road sweepers behind. That was my goal <laughs> yeah, yeah, and exactly. it worked. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. It's lovely to oh, see you, Scott. Thank you for coming in. In as ever and, and sharing you. your story with us. Good luck on Sunday as well. And more importantly, good luck on Monday with the stairs. Going down the stairs is always the most painful thing the day after. Oh, the day after, yeah. And, well, this is the honest truth. Last time we had a, a stair lift there for Barbara and I used ah. it for three days after the marriage. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm not going to have that this time. <laughs> <laughs> Great to see you, oh, Thank goodness. you. Uh,